all right so we're back with another video and today i'm going to be telling you guys my strat that uh i came up with well not really i came up with but uh it's the strat i use to get a bunch of stat cubes um so first we're going to summon for itadori i'm just going to i only have 20k i know there's an update this weekend but the battle pass and stuff is coming out and i still haven't done uh, infinity castle so i'm not too worried worried about gems um i can get it back easily so i'm just gonna spend 20k see how many itadoris we can get um yeah all right so uh we have max inventory actually and we only have 468 60 gems left so i'm not even going to use the last but let's see we only got two itadoris that is actually insane what i was hoping for at least three or four but we only got two that's only six stack cubes um but yeah if you want to get a lot of itadoris you're going to have to farm at least 100k honestly i'm not too surprised about that um i, I guess i just got unlucky even though i have three of the luck things on but oh we did end up getting a shiny uh deal though uh, that's some free remnants um not bad at all honestly i'm not too disappointed uh, we're gonna go evolve itadori i'm just gonna sh to show you guys i, I spent 20 k gems just to show you guys but you know it's whatever uh i'm i'm always farming stat cubes anyways because you know that's since you can't farm traits i'm just gonna farm stat cubes because i still want to uh, feel the dopamine from rolling an SSS stat. Uh, what am I doing here? SSS stat. Uh, stat. What am I saying? But yeah. Okay, so we're gonna evolve a. Oh, wait. We need to go to the domain. What am I doing? So we're gonna evolve him here. I think I have enough for one ev evolution. There we go. There we go. And then you get the stack cubes. Boom. Now imagine um, if you had like 10 of them. If you just have 10 Ethodoris, that's a that's 30 stack cubes. Um, so if your main goal is to um, get stack cubes and you know you, you have a lot of gems, you could just roll for a bunch of Ethodoris. Um, so the other two units that um are good for getting stat cubes is julius um he's the next best one as you can see at right here endless tomb it only takes 12 of these lost chapters and 7500 gold that's about it and you get like three or four lost chapters from completing a legend stage actually i don't know about four probably uh, like two to three two to three so you basically you only need to do like uh four of them and you maybe more depending on your luck but yeah it's it's a very easy grind you could just grind a bunch of them like maybe set an eighth k macro if you have you know <laughs> good units um and then you could just you know evolve a bunch of juliuses if you do get them because uh, you can also just, you know, get them from just summoning for the new banners. I mean, the new units in the banner. Like, that's, that's, you get random units in the banner, and one of them might be Julius or Itadori. Um, but there's another unit th that you might get, and that unit is Gojo. He's, he's uh, not as easy as the other two, but he's still fairly easy. You only need six Rikukon eyes, and 40... Uh, 40 curse tallies man so that's all you really need for to evolve gojo the rikugan eyes do have a you know rarer drop rate than the curse womb keys so he's slightly harder to get but uh we're gonna be going with the strat in just a second um uh, let me know down below if there's any other units I'm missing. I think those are the only three, like, those are three f units that I can think of that have the fastest evolution. Because, you know, every 
almost every other unit takes a, a long time like the bleach units you have to farm crazy amounts of legend stages and you know the ones with de devil fruits or portals they they take too long like any anyone any unit that takes devil fruit i mean uh star fruits so one more i'm saying devil fruits star fruits to eat to evolve take too long because you have to wait 30 minutes for one challenge and sometimes you might not even get star fruits i've i've done i've been grinding star fruits and sometimes I, I would get one or zero but you know there's once where i got five which i was kind of hyped about i was like damn okay i didn't know you could get five but yeah it really depends on your luck for star fruits and they, they just take all day you have to wait all day you have to have all day to farm star fruits all right all right so let's talk about the strat now so you know the strat would be you know to save up at least i would say 20 25k gems maybe maybe 30 as much as you can to be honest it's kind of hard right now because the bat uh the battle pass it actually it's not hard at all there's many ways to grind gems um the infinity castle the tournament the, the play the, there's the daily the quests infinite there's many ways to grind gems so what i would do is save up maybe 20 30 30k gems and um or more how, however much you can get for you know the next update which is two weeks uh usually two weeks you can probably get at least 30k gems and and then you know get get all the units you know you know like get the good ones you don't you know most of the time you only like i would only summon for the good ones i wouldn't summon for all of them so you would maybe only need like if you're lucky 10k or less not even right because you know to be honest i only needed these two units but you know i ended up getting this even though he wasn't on the banner and yeah you just get a bunch of random units and sometimes you might get an itadori a gojo or a julius so you know spin for the new units and then you probably have at least like 20k gems or more depending on how, how much you saved up and then you know use the rest on the on itadori julius or gojo if they're in the banner that's what i would do um and you know evolve those while i'm evolving those i would save up more gems for the next update and then repeat and then repeat and you know you have you you have it in no time you have like you probably get a hundred like if you do it right and you get a good amount of gems you can you can have a hundred stack cubes every update and it will It'll make it easier having the battle pass every like every few updates like every month you'll have a battle pass which gives you a bunch of gems so you know that will help too grinding the, the infinity castle you know even without unique you can probably get to at least wave like room 250 without unique i've seen people without unique get to like 350 actually and that's a lot of gems so you know i know it does take time it does take time but you know you can multitask like infinite look go to infinite quests see see what infinites if you do this every day that's that's already a lot of gems if you do this daily do this every day that's already a good amount of gems and then you're done like this you can just afk an infinite to wave 50 while you i don't know do homework while you you know do something something else um that's what I would do. And then, yeah, just repeat and repeat until you get 100 stack cubes. Um, I'll probably try to do a speed run once I get 100k gems or something. I'll probably try to, or at 50k gems, I'll probably try to speed run the, the getting 100 stack cubes just to see how fast we can actually get, get 100 stack cubes with this strat. But yeah that's the fastest way i can think of let me know down below what you guys think about it and uh hopefully they add more ways to get stack cubes because you know we can't get we can't there's no way to farm you know stat rerolls i mean trait rerolls other than star remnants and you know how that goes it's just so hard to get like a good amount but yeah that's about it for the video. Thanks for watching and subscribe.